It was a, uh, you know, an unbelievable feeling. Really, it's something that, um, you know, as you as you sit there on the sideline, you know, you're kind of holding your holding your breath through each and every play, you know, hoping that you just break one. And um, it's such an unbelievable feeling to come into a, you know this stadium and to really, uh, you know, experience a lot of adversity. You know, we knew it'd be a tough game and. Um, you know, a tough Big Ten battle, and our guys fought. You know, I'm, I'm so proud of these guys because you know a lot of people have been questioning our toughness and, and our you know, mental toughness on the road and stuff. And this is one of those wins that definitely, uh, definitely will stick in my mind you know, forever. The, the Wisconsin drive to take the yeah. lead was that hard for you guys to deal with? And then oh, you yeah. have to, you know, the offense kind of has to pick you up. After yeah, that. definitely because you know when you're the game and, and you're winning, you know, we got that field goal. We had the mindset that uh, that could have been it right there. You know, and and. and um, it should have been, you know, but we just we didn't come out, you know, with the urgency that they did, and, and you have to give them credit. I mean, they have a big physical offensive line. They have uh, two running backs where, you know, if they get a blocker up to you at all, you know, you don't have time to get off and try to make arm tackles with these guys. And um, it was a, you know, a great offense we faced, really. You know, and, uh, their quarterback played, you know, extremely well as well. And, um, we're happy to come in, into this stadium and this atmosphere and get a W. What was the effect of, of the crowd, if you could judge it? I mean, did it, did it affect you guys in any way? Oh, I mean, it was, a, it was a fun atmosphere. You know, I think you you watch, uh, you know, you saw all week kind of the, the jump around tradition and, and that we expected that. And that's why I think you saw a lot of the guys jumping around on our sidelines just having fun with it. You know what I mean? You can't get intimidated by this. And, um, but it was, a, it was a fun crowd because I think when you, when you look at it, they were constantly doing something, constantly energized in the game. and. Um, it's an exciting game to be a part of. What did this game show you about Terrell Pryor? Just show that he had, you know, great mental toughness. You know, things, you know, went wrong. Even on that last drive, you know, things, you know, went wrong. You, you know, drop something here, you know, you fall trying to scramble there. And um, as a young kid, you can get frustrated. But you know, there's a reason why he's here at Ohio State, and um, you know, he proved that. You know, tonight it was a great win, and uh, you know, him him leading that offense down there, and then just putting the ball in the end zone. Um, shows his talent. James, James what do you mean 19. when uh, Malcolm Jenkins intercepts the pass there at the end? Your thoughts on that and it's finally over? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> when that happened, you know, I'm, I was just so proud of Malcolm. He's a guy that, uh, you know, is you know, the best cornerback in the country, you know, and, and he stepped up and made a big play and, and one of our captains and leaders and uh, he stepped up and made the play when we needed it. You, know, you, you go on that last drive and you expect um, you know their best shot, and you're, and you're sitting there, and, and you're hoping you can you know stop them and stuff, and to have it on the first play it makes it feel a lot better. James, you've won a lot of games here. I mean, a comeback win on the road like this against a good team. Where is this one of the ones you'll, I mean, you said you remember? Is this up there? Yeah, this is definitely up there. I mean, it's because our team fought so hard. You know what I mean? And uh, the battle back and forth. And we talked a lot about we we're gonna come in here, and, and we said, listen, you know, we know we're gonna go out there and. It's going to be like a boxing match. You know, you're going to get hit in the mouth and you got to hit back. You know, we really have challenged our guys to say, hey, are we going to be that team that hits back? Or are we going to kind of just um, kind of buckle down and disappear? You know what I mean? And, and when the adversity got turned up a lot and, and uh, you know, things weren't going our way, our team was tougher. And coach challenged us and said really all week that the louder it got here, the tougher we should get. That should be our cue to get tougher and then to really buckle down. And I think the guys did that. Did you wonder? As you're standing there, if Terrell could lead a team down the field, did, were you, was there doubt at all, or was there? I didn't think so because I thought, you know, when, when I was watching the game, you know, from the sideline, you know, the offense all night, it seemed like we would make big plays and then we'd cough the ball up and we'd make a big play, you know, and then we'd stub ourselves in the foot, you know what I mean? Um, that one drive where we got a field goal, if we get a touchdown there, it's a different, you know, big game. And, um, but like I, like I said before, you know, just the guys fighting, you know what I mean? Things would go wrong. and. It's like the guys on the sideline weren't even phased. You know, it's just, just keep fighting because all that matters at the end of the day, you know, is, is getting a, you know, getting a W. And it's a lot like um, you look back and um, you realize that there's just, the Big Ten's a really tough conference and guys are playing each other, you know, extremely tough. So it's. Uh...